for a few people to come on first. I'm picking up the remains of what I had left in the car where the girl hit me. And luckily I found her bumper inside with her license plate and you can see where where she swerved and hit me. So it's kind of heartbreaking seeing this, I'm not gonna lie. But I want to document it so I can have this. And what better way to record it and save it than to, to go live. So I'm, I'm sure my insurance company's been here already, but now that I'm more coherent, it's, that's where I was in the ocean water there. That's the bumper of the person who's in my dash. Whew. This car saved my life. This piece of metal, this piece of metal started over here. And that piece of metal and it curled all the way up. There's my door. See right here, that's all the accordion up from there. Wow. And this is where the airbags went off. That's where I my chest. That's where my head hit the steering wheel, spider webbed. Wow, it's pretty surreal coming back to this. This is the seawater, where my car was in the marsh, submerged. All the seawater. Tires never popped though. Look at the inside. As my airbag went off, as my windshield. Whew. I got a very freaky feeling being in here right now, but there's pieces of my car everywhere inside. Yeah, hey, up, Jim? They let me, they told me where my car was. I'm coming to clean it out and you can see the bumper of the person that hit me was inside my car and you can see the blue paint in the corner where their driver's side was, they swerved in my lane and got me. I don't remember anything from the accident. So I wanted to record this so I can have it documented for later and in case I need to show it to my lawyers. I'm sure they've seen it already, but whew, Ford Fusion night 2014. That uh, took a big hit and saved my life. Peeled it like a fucking sardine though. There's my door. That was my door. That was my rear view. Now it's over here. That's it's peeled right open like a sardine can. There's my tire. That's where I hit. And I got the 100% of the impact. My head was right in back here. Holy shit. I don't think the same cars. I don't think they got a hit. I fucking can't believe that. I survived that without a seatbelt. God is good. Whew, it's surreal seeing this right now. That's my front path, my front uh, light, my headlights. That should go here. She's fucking gone. There's no saving my mom's car. There's the back. There's the one that hit me. There's sand in here too. Yeah, there's ocean sand because I tipped over. I was upside down. Well, I don't think I was upside down. There's no marks on the roof though. They said I rolled over though. Or I was on my side, maybe. Look at this. This is me. This is it. This is me. There's one little dent right here on the side. Yeah. Look at that. Look at all the dirt from the ocean. Look at that dirt from the marsh. That's just the steering wheel airbag. Holy mother McCree. There's my, there's my head at the windshield. And then my chest at the steering wheel and the airbag pushing me back in the seats. But it's scary. I can't believe it. Back door still opens. Wow. There's all the toys. I sell at the flea market and stuff, so I have toys that I sell. But uh, I can't open the trunk, which I don't think I had a lot in the trunk. Back doesn't look damaged. It's a lot of sea salt and dirt from the beach. Marsh water. This is a side airbag, looks like, from the ceiling. Oh, shit. There's my driver door. Can't even open it. And that's where I was sitting and I crawled out. Whew. Kind of makes my heart hurt watching this. God damn. It was a tough car and it saved my life. I think they were going, we're both going about 35 or so. And there's no brake marks. And I don't remember a thing. my mom that was in my car still oh well thank you for all your support Jim like I said I look forward to working with you sometime in the future and meeting you in person and I just wanted to everybody out there to drive safe you know make sure you pay attention even the littlest thing
could fuck somebody's life up. So, just watch what you're doing. Be safe. I love you guys. And, uh, I'm walking. I'm trying to stay in good hopes. I don't have a car right now, but I'm relying on my family and friends to help me out. So, thanks. And, uh, all your positive thoughts and prayers means a lot, man. I should, that should have, that should be my casket. That should have took my life. And I'm here, we're standing here now. I know it sounds over dramatic, but I'll tell you what, when you've been through this, you really look at life differently. Every day moping gropes really don't mean shit. I'm i I'm walking on this earth still. And that's what matters, that's what's important. You know? Not that I'm having a bad day or I'm stuck in traffic or they fuck my order up at Dunkin' Donuts. Shit like that's trivial in life. It really is meaningless. Thank God for all my fellow boys, brothers and sisters praying for me. And the good uh, good thoughts and prayers, so up in my tomb. So, I love you all. Thanks for uh, giving a shit. <laughs> in the day where no one seems to give a shit, a lot of you do give a shit. And uh, I fucking, you made this tough guy really happy. And uh, I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful to be on earth. When you think life sucks, at least we're still here. And every day you can change. You can make yourself better, make people around you better. You can learn from your mistakes. You can find motivation to move on, blah, blah, blah. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.